I manifested my dream life when I realized this one simple thing. What's up winners, my name is Abdul and I'm here to help you develop your life. Now in this video, I'm literally gonna break down, I'm gonna give you the secret of how I manifested my dream life and literally the one simple thing that helped me completely revolutionize and change my life. Okay, so make sure you stick around the end of the video to hear about that. And also, if you go in the description down below, I've created a five day free course to literally help you become conscious of yourself so that you can manifest everything that you want. So go ahead and check that out in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so the secret, secret phrase, words, sentence that literally helped change my life was, when you love yourself and you love your life, you create an equal. And I, when I first heard this, I was like, hold on. Hold on, right? This is a quote by Dr. Joe Dispenza. And he, he said, when you love yourself and you love your life, you create an equal. Now, what he means by this is, look, when you love yourself, right? You love who you are. You love everything about you. You're putting in the effort that you want. You're becoming the person that you want to be. He said, when you love yourself, you create an equal, which means now it's easier to attract love and have positive relationships because the relationship with yourself is positive and loving. Do you hear what I'm saying? Life, everything is a reflection of you, okay? And if everything is a reflection of you and you love yourself and who you are, it's obviously going to be very easy for other people to love you as well. Right. And he said, when you love yourself and you love your life, you create an equal. So now your life, you love yourself, you love your life and your life is just going to keep getting better and better because you love everything about it. Right. And when you hold gratitude and love in your heart and that's what is the dominant frequency in your energy, you literally attract the same exact things and there's nothing more that you have to do and for the longest time this quote baffled me because what it meant was there's nothing more i have to go seek and do everything that i want is already within me all i have to feel is gratitude for my life and more things to be grateful for show up right all i have to do is love myself and appreciate who i am and then life is going to attract somebody who, who's going to do that for me and it's like, this is literally how I manifested my dream partner, right? I took this quote to heart. I genuinely fell in love with myself and who I am. And I began to heal all of my inner child wounds. And I had to repurpose my pain. And all of these things, putting all of this effort into myself and who I am, I was like, hold on. Like, like I, I, was, I was doing a lot of meditating and healing and tapping and journaling for a couple months. And I realized, damn. I'm putting a lot of work and effort into myself. I changed my diet. I started sleeping better. I started fucking working out and running and doing all these breathing exercises and shit like that. And guys, you, you don't understand. You really don't understand. You realize that you are worthy to do all these things for yourself. And when you love yourself, you genuinely love yourself and you genuinely take care of yourself to the utmost, you realize that you you create value for yourself. You start to value yourself. And when you start to value yourself, you carry yourself a certain way. And I was baffled. I was absolutely baffled. I was like, where did all of this confidence come from? <laughs> it made no sense. Like, where did all of this confidence come from? And confidence literally comes from you understanding and acknowledging your value. And when you acknowledge and understand your value, now you start to carry yourself differently. There's a reason why gold costs so much because everybody around it values gold, right? They know what it is. They know how hard it is. They know how scarce it is to mine gold and continuously get more of it, right? There's only a limited amount on the entire planet. Everybody values it. And when you take care of yourself and you love yourself and you appreciate yourself, you realize, damn, there's only one of me in the entire planet. And now you start to value yourself the same way other people value gold. And there's things that you become unavailable for. You don't want to be around toxicity anymore. You don't want to be around people who are not developing themselves and at least treating you well, right? Sure, they may not have a purpose. Sure, they may not be putting all this work in on themselves, whatever. None of that matters. You just realize that you are not available for people that don't treat you well and treat you with respect. And then now it's all of a sudden your life changes because you changed. And because you change, your life changes. And it's like this, this cycle 
where things just keep getting better and better because you decided to value yourself. You decided to fall in love with yourself and your life. And a lot of people don't understand how dedicated you have to be to yourself to genuinely fall in love with yourself. Whenever I watch all these videos about people, you know, how to, how to manifest a specific person, how to manifest a relationship, how to manifest this and that, whatever. There's literally not that many people that talk about how your relationship with yourself needs to be improved first. You can manifest a beautiful person into your life. I've done it many, 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 many times. And because my relationship with myself was not good, right? It doesn't even need to be perfect. It just needs to be healthy. My relationship with myself wasn't healthy. So how would my relationship with another person be healthy? Doesn't make sense, does it? Everything that you have to do with another person, you have to do with yourself. If you get angry, right, with yourself, do you communicate? Or do you just bottle it up and, and never acknowledge your emotions? Because that's the same thing you're going to have to do if you get in a fight with somebody else. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And this is why it's so important. Because genuinely loving yourself and falling in love with yourself is the same thing that's going to happen when you fall in love with somebody else. If you genuinely want to manifest your dream partner in that aspect, well then fall in love with yourself. Now, if you want to manifest your dream life, right, and you want to fall in love, you, you got to fall in love with your life first. That's bottom line, right? It doesn't matter where you are or who you are. You have to fall in love with it. You have to recognize that all the, there's all these different little things that are really, really good in your life, and you have to hold on to those things, and you have to appreciate and acknowledge them. Because what happens is, look, the more you look at something, right, the more your attention is on it, the more defined and nuanced, and, and just the more you become enveloped in the thing that you're looking at. Okay, and so it's like if you're looking at something that's bad and you can't take your attention off of it, the worse and worse it seems like that thing gets. But if you're looking at a good thing, right? Let's say you you have three dollars in your bank account and you just look at it and you're like, damn, three dollars all for me? Shit, I love it. I love these three dollars. And it's like the more attention you put on it and you think of it as a good thing, the bigger that thing it has to grow. It has to grow. Like the more attention and energy I put onto my YouTube channel, the more subscribers come. That, that's the only way it works. Whatever you put your attention on, it has to grow. It has to grow, it has to grow. So now the question is, what are you putting your attention on? In your life, if you, if you put your attention on all the things you hate, well then those things are gonna grow. They're gonna grow. So what are you putting your attention on? This is when you have to consciously choose to put your attention on all the good things in your life and you literally just ignore all the other things. That's it, you just ignore it. And sometimes you, you, you forget to ignore the bad things. You're like, damn, that shit is actually ass. That shit sucks, it's so bad, I hate it. I'm, why is my life? And you just start to rant negatively and you start to feel really, really bad and you think your life is awful and you forget all the good things in your life. So. Fall in love with yourself, fall in love with your life. And the only way to do that is to genuinely focus on all the gratitude and all the good things in your life. And the more you do that, the more good things will come. But it's a practice, it's a practice. You have to do it every single fucking day. I promise you. And again, it gets easier and fun the more you do it. And I promise you just more and more good things you will find, but you have to look for them. And that's where consciousness comes into play. And that's where you have to be aware of what you're thinking and where, where your attention and where your energies are. Okay. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you appreciate it, man, leave me a like, leave me a comment. That's going to help other people see this video and they're going to be able to benefit from all the different analogies that I put into it. So if you guys enjoyed it, man, just do me a favor. Do yourself a favor and just help the world become a better place. You feel me? All right, guys, last thing before this video is over. I do want to let you know that the Intentional Transformation Blueprint is open for enrollment. So if you do want my help in manifesting your dream life, go in the description down below and book a one-on-one -on -one consult with me and to see if we're a good fit to work together. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Without further ado. That's all, folks.